Hey guys, another right dash here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a respawning NPC in Roblox Studio. So it's very simple and very easy to do. You just take out your sword and you stab him to death, and you can see that he respawns. You can do it again, and he respawns again. Do it again, and he's gonna respawn again. So it's very simple. As I said, very easy. So, um, yeah, I'll have all the time stamps in the description below. And, um, yeah, be sure to check out all my social medias. Also in the description and on the screen right now. And without further ado, uh, without wasting your time, let's just get right into it. Alright guys, I'm in my base plate here, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to insert an NPC. And you can get one from Toolbox, but that's kind of boring, so let's go ahead and create our own. To do that, you can go to the Plugins tab in the top of the screen, and then we can find a plugin called Rig Builder. You can click on it, and insert a block rig. Now you can see a little dummy will appear in front of us. So what we can do, we can just move him down a bit. The dummy looks kind of boring though, he's just plain gray, so let's go ahead and give him some color. To do this, we can just go ahead and click the plus sign on the dummy. And we can give him some body colors, just like that, and he is colorful. Alright, so now that we have our NPC done, you can go ahead and create him a spawner. And to, that, to do that, we can go back into the home tab, and we can insert a part. We can customize the part. Alright, so now that we have our spawner here, we can go ahead and get to scripting. But before we do that, we can go ahead and duplicate the dummy. And we're going to move him into server storage. And the reason why we do this is for the script. Because uh, in order for the NPC to respawn, we're going to get a copy of him from server storage. And we're going to clone it um, to the spawner here. Uh, and we can also go ahead and rename this part to spawner. And in the dummy, we can go ahead and add in a script. And you can go ahead and rename it to the respawn if you want. So I'm going to go ahead and get the scripting, and then I'll explain everything about the script after I'm done. So let's create a variable for the humanoid. So local humanoid is going to be equal to the script dot parent dot dummy. Oh no, not dummy. Um, script dot parent call wait for child. And we're going to wait for the humanoid. All right. So now we're going to create a loop. So while wait five do thirty five seconds. Actually, five is a bit of a go. Five is kind of long, so let's do like three seconds or so. Then we're gonna check if the dummy is alive. So if humanoid dot health is greater than, I mean, um, less than or equal to zero, then so we can go ahead and create a variable for the dummy backup. So local dummy backup or NPC backup, whatever you want to call it, uh, is going to be equal to ser uh, game dot server storage dot dummy colon clone, just like that. And then we can, and since the dummy is dead, we can go ahead and destroy our current dummy, which is this one, um, because if you have a bunch of body parts laying on the floor and they don't despawn, and um, after a while, the game is going to get really laggy. And you don't want that, so we're gonna do um, we're gonna do script dot parent colon destroy. All right, now what we can do is dummy backup dot parent. We can do dummy backup dot parent parent is going to be equal to workspace. And we're gonna set the position of the dummy. Now we're gonna set the position of the dummy to be on the spawner when he spawns in. So when he dies, he's gonna respawn on the dummy spawner or the NPC spawner. So we're gonna do dummy backup dot humanoid root part, which is this part right here in the NPC. Um, dot C frame is going to be equal to script dot parent. Oh no, not script up here. It's going to be equal to game dot workspace um, dot spawner dot c frame plus 
effective three dot nil three or er, no zero comma five comma zero. And the reason we do this plus effective three dot nil is so that um, the dummy doesn't is doesn't spawn inside of the spawner and gets stuck in the ground. It's gonna spawn above it. Oh, and we can go ahead and ink through the spawner because I forgot to do that earlier. Just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and get a sword from the toolbox. And we're going to insert it insert it into starter pack. So that way we can test this out. Alright, and before we test this out, we're going to copy this respawn script. And paste it into the dummy in server storage. Just like that. So that way after you kill this dummy. So once you kill this dummy, it's going to be destroyed. And this dummy is going to replace it. And um, we need to have the respawn script in there so you can kill it a third time, a fourth time, infinite times. So make sure that you copy the respawn script and paste it into the dummy backup in service storage. Alright, so now you can go ahead and test it. Once we load into the game, we can get our sword. And we can kill the dummy, the NPC. You can see that once he dies, he is going to respawn on the spawner here. And you can kill him again. And he's going to respawn again. And we can do this again, and again, and again. And he's always going to respawn on the spawner. Perfect. If you guys enjoyed this video, and it helped you, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. And leave suggestions for what you want me to make uh, the tutorial video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!